Okay, everybody, welcome back. This is The Coaches. Coach. With George Strachillis and... Eric Lucis. Right on, we're back. Now, Eric, I start with the check versus the plan, because we planned in the past. So I'm checking for last week. Can you share with me what your plan was for the week and then breaking it out by day and let me know how you did on a daily basis. Go ahead, Eric. We got to stop right here. Guess what? Eric and I are not speaking the same language. So we made an effort to uh, make it standard of what we're talking about on a weekly basis. So milestones are the highest level deliverable. And Eric and I both agree that at the end of every task, which he calls an activity, there is something called a deliverable. All of the value is encompassed in the deliverable. In week one, Eric had eight deliverables and he accomplished four of them, which makes his commitment to me and himself 50% reliable. So we call that a commitment reliability index or uh, as well known in the industry as PPC, the percent planned complete. Uh, we did stage materials, we can call that complete, but here's where we had uh, some constraints was with the old window, um, removing the old window and installing the old one. And we've just got a, a material constraint on all of these. There was a prep, uh, some waterproofing um, in addition to installing uh, the window. <clears throat> that did impact our uh, framing for, for the following week. Um, and we will uh, adjust accordingly. Monday, I was um, focusing on safing off and prepping the space for demolition. Um, Tuesday um, was demolition day and layout for, for the walls, which I got some of it done, but, but not all of it due to the window. Wednesday was a staging materials day. I personally had to move uh, stacks of drywall and, and studs. So that, so I, I left some time for me to do that. Um, Thursday and Friday was where our plan failed most. And that was driven by our window not arriving per plan. Okay, Eric, so it sounds to me like, um, yeah, we, we, we planned, but we also had failure. And what we expected to happen didn't happen. And that represents a gap between uh, the two. And that's called a problem in our world. So the definition of a problem is a great thing to introduce uh, to your teams when you're talking about lean. So what is a problem? It's nothing more than a gap between where we are and where we want it to be. So can you just explain the problem for the week, Eric? where we are today and where we expect it to be. And give me some key pointers of what the problem was. What were the gaps? Yeah, so so definitely it was Tuesday when we found out our window wasn't going to arrive uh, for the Wednesday pickup and Thursday and Friday installation. So immediately we, we did have a problem. Um, fortunately, I had some workable backlog. I had a fireplace, an electric starter fireplace that we were hooking up to Alexa and my gas valve broke. So I was gonna use that workable backlog when my, my baby was gonna get born in case I had some time to, to, to work around that week. Um, unfortunately, um, I, I, I leveraged that workable backlog to fill in the time I wasn't able to work Thursday and Friday. Okay, so, so what you're saying is the window didn't arrive on time, uh, but you kept yourself busy with work that didn't have a, a clear drop dead date of the week. So where are we for the week? Uh, how many hours would you say are rolling into the next week of work now that you have to complete, complete if you wanted to stay on track? Yeah, we're definitely a solid two days behind and I'm allotting half days of work uh, for, for each of our days. So we're at least eight hours behind with starting framing of, of one of our uh, walls. Great. Is there anything I could have done differently? Uh, so Eric, what do you say to that? Yeah, I, I should have worked harder to pull forward critical path activities. I too much, I relied too heavily on, on replacing the window to initiate framing in a certain area when I could have moved to the other side of the room and, and possibly got more critical path work done versus just work, um, workable backlog. 
Okay, this is the uh, coach's coach. Sorry, let's do it again. <laughs> we pulled off all the shells and removed the anchor bolts that were holding them up. Uh, we broom swept the room and we removed all the shelves along that side of the wall, which were all anchored against or in the concrete as well.